Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. Yes. So let's jump straight into it. If you enjoy this content, don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe, Aqua. Very much appreciated. Okay, six cards, Aquarius. Okay, let's start off with the Eight of Pentacles. Career-wise, monetarily, creatively, or even um, internally, there's some sort of enhancement that's coming in around you, Aqua. Um, now, this could be that you're coming into a very busy period in the workplace. This could be that you're really showcasing your work, but there's a lot of focus and dedication coming in around you. There's potentially an added income stream that's coming in that could land you more money. Um, eight of Pentacles, eight's great number of abundance and prosperity um, or balance, okay? Balancing finances and work situations here. So there is a message of that potentially coming in around the beginning of November for you. But a lot of commitment coming in around you or possibly an earth sign who's working very, very hard for your affections or to find more stability with you. But I really feel like you're creating some sort of dream scenario here, Um and this is quite exciting. You've got the ace, so there is a brand new chapter coming in around you. Now we see the hand of God emerging with the cup here. So it could be with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You do have more cups here. I think there is a potential new chapter coming in around the home or the family. Either a new addition to the family, a new romance, or feeling overwhelmed with love. The ace of cups can be an outpour of emotion as well. So someone could be expressing how they feel. Um, or you have suddenly you have this outpour of passion or emotion connected to work, creative pursuits. There is a dove here. So the bird is seen as a messenger. Now, the messenger of the zodiac is a Gemini. I'm not sure if there's a correlation here. You do have the two of pentacles. Can be Gemini energy sort of coming through. Maybe if you're dealing with that. But nonetheless, there is a message. Okay. But the dove also offers hope. So there's a message of hope here. Um, if you're if you've been waiting for someone to reconnect, this might be the case. If you've been waiting for forgiveness, purity, clarity, if you're wanting to remedy a situation, there is an opportunity or an opportunity to do that may arise in the time of November. But it could be a new chapter. Okay, aces bring wonderful new chapters, and it's anything to do with anything that evokes emotion, Aquarius. So it might not even be romantic. Um, it could be a new job opportunity. But again, it's something that you'll be passionate about. It's something that you might become overwhelmed because it's God's chalice. So it's being gifted to you. And it's, it's quite a beautiful chapter or a, a hefty gift or opportunity of some kind. So uh, that's coming up around you. You also have the two of pentacles. Now, it could be earth energy coming forward. It could be an added income stream. It might be a long distance connection that's coming in around you because you have the notion of back and forth. Okay, here he is trying to juggle the pentacles. Maybe this is you juggling things quite well, managing things quite well. People, tasks, jobs, income streams. Um, there is possibly adventure, okay, or an opportunity to go overseas or uh, see someone who is further afield. But you might be in two minds about it, Aqua. Okay, it might not be something you're a decision you're wanting to make as yet. You're managing things quite well, which is quite impressive. I do see you being quite busy for the most part of the month, but you seem to be managing things quite well or, or get yourself in a really good routine. Now it could be juggling between multiple lovers. Suddenly there's the element of choice that's being introduced in November. The ship can be a journey, and there's two ships behind you. So there's two paths you could potentially take, maybe two travel destinations you're thinking about. Maybe there's a lot of travel back and forth. Um, or there's a lot of correspondence from further afield. Could also be the potential for a second cycle, um, second chance at a first impression, a second time to a, a time to give a relationship a second go, a second income stream suddenly there's plurality so it's not a singular aqua you're juggling something here 
multiple things, multiple projects at the one time, but if this is the case, I think you'll do quite well. But it's important that you don't become overwhelmed because overwhelm can, can, can show up in the form of the seven of wands. This is resistance. This is feeling like you're accountable for things. This is feeling like you're trying to counteract everything. There might be a fire sign here, an Aries of Sag, uh, an Aries of Sag or a Leo who's disagreeing with what you're saying or what you're doing. Suddenly, sometimes this can be seen as we feel attacked. We feel like we need to protect ourselves. We feel like we need to counteract criticism because the ones can be anger. It can certainly be opposition. There might be someone who's opposed to something that you're doing. Um, I really feel like you're building an empire of some kind. I do see success here. Um, or building some sort of, you know, dream scenario. And I almost feel like there'll be people who counteract it or maybe maybe there's a method to your madness and i think some people might counteract it or disagree or not be very approving or encouraging about what you're doing but i honestly feel like you're going to deflect all of it i do because there's opposition here and this can be competition this can be jealousy people have their reasons for opposing what you're doing and maybe it comes from a good place maybe it doesn't but nonetheless i don't feel like you'll be short of that sort of opposition uh, in the upcoming month of November. But look, there can also be someone who feels like that, 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 you know, there's an overwhelm of pressure. Maybe this is you, maybe this is someone you're dealing with, but you might come to see that someone has will grow increasingly defensive about something. So that, that might be coming up around you as well. But I think this is only minor. You do have very other positive cards here, Aqua, so let's not ignore them. You've got the beautiful Ten of Cups. This is a card of reconciliation, a card of affection. Anything around the home, the family, life, children, there's harmony coming in, good experiences, creating memories. The rainbow can also signify creative flair um, or mixing things up a bit. Your routine might be mixed up a bit. You might be experiencing different things in a relationship. There might be increased affection here. Uh, there might be someone falling for you, confessing their emotions, or likewise, you might be doing this for them. Uh, but the Ten of Cups could even be a relocation um, because it's a very settled card. You're settled, you can finally enjoy the rainbow, you can finally enjoy success or enjoy where you are um, without having to worry about all these bits and bobs and nitty gritty. So you're going to find enjoyment and you'll finally see the rainbow you'll finally be able to enjoy that. This middle column here, these are religious cards. It's a Christian deck, but the rainbow here, God's, God's chalice is God's covenant. So it's almost like a promise that's being made to you. So, or something will appear very, very promising. And I think for the most part it is, but someone could make you a promise or a binding agreement, but it comes from a good place because the intention, the, the, the rainbow after the storm, after the flood story in the Genesis, in the Genesis story, um, we see the rainbow and the covenant. So it's a, it's, it's, um, it's a promise or someone being indebted to you or someone trying to offer you something, but it comes from a good place because they're aware now, they've learned a about a certain situation. So that could be coming around, um, coming up around some of you as well. But there's children here, family, events, um, planning children, major chapters involving children, having children, um, having grandchildren, um, maybe new living situations for your children. These sort of situations are coming up as well. Maybe possibly working from home, a new chapter in the home and family life, new decor, a makeover, a new business that you'll start from home. Uh, sprucing up the home, changes to the family schedule, family outings. These, these things are coming up and, and you will create memories. Moments will be turned into memories here, Aqua, so that is quite special. And lastly, you have the Queen of Cups, who can represent water sign, um, water signs, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Uh, she's quite an endearing energy, and she brings a lot of empathy and uh, 
understanding and compassion. So she also represents love to me. She is the epitome of divine feminine. She's sensitive. She's gentle. Um, she's got grace and she holds the Holy Grail here. So she's got something special in her hands. Um, someone is going to make you feel really, really special. Someone is going to make you feel really loved um, or they're going to show a very compassionate side of them or they're going to show that there's much more emotion here. Now, it could be romantic, it could be a friend, it could be someone you're hoping to gain closer to, but you're going to start to see value. She sees value in the Holy Grail. She understands what it means. She understands what it means to hold it, to appreciate it, to have it in her presence. So suddenly a lot more value is increasing. Maybe someone is becoming more important to you. Maybe you're becoming um, a lot more important to them. But it's also passion and, and being in tune with emotions. And she overrides the, the choppy, murky waters here. So, you know, things could be a bit emotionally up and down for you this month, um, Aqua. But for the most part, to wrap the, to wrap the month up, you're, you're, you're going to be in a very great space emotionally. I do. I, I, feel, I feel like you'll be in a very great space You'll be in a very confident, secure, emotional space by the time November wraps up for you.